Today, I'm going to teach you how to do Froman sign, and we're going to talk a little bit also about gene sign. Now, it's important that before a therapist attempts this test is to rule out zigzag deformity beforehand. So if someone has arthritis and it has implicated the MP joint and caused hyperextension in that joint, along with um, a hyperflex IP, the result of this test is going to look a bit skewed. The way to perform this test, and this test is, of course, for a low ulnar nerve palsy, is you're gonna, your patient's going to assume a lateral pinch in between the thumb and the index finger, and you're going to, as a therapist, pull the paper away, and the patient gets commands to keep the paper in his hand, okay? As you can see, my model here does not have a low ulnar nerve palsy. We have nice bending at the IP and the MP. If we were to see a abnormality, there would be hyperflexion in the IP joint and extension in the MP joint. The reason for this is because with a low ulnar nerve palsy, the adductor palsis is not functioning as much, so the FPL, which is innervated by the median nerve, is overcompensating for this action. The reason why I want to discuss that is because gene sign is just means that reflection in the IP joint, but now there's also hyperextension in the MP joint. So that is the differences between gene sign and Froman sign. Froman sign is indicated by a hyperflexion of the IP joint when you're trying to remove the paper from the patient. And gene sign is a hyperextension of the MCP joint. <laughs>